What's up guys, Josh Profits here. I just wanna show you a quick tip on how you can make more money selling stuff on Amazon instead of selling it on eBay. Check this out. Okay guys, so what you're seeing here is a used PlayStation 2 console with controller, audio, video, and the power cord. Now, excuse the mess back here, but um, so I had this listed up on eBay for $50. Now, they weren't really selling for 50 bucks. Probably had it up there listed for about two weeks and I didn't have any sales. Had a couple watchers, some inquiries, no sales. And I bought a whole uh, lot of these, about I think 21 uh, at PlayStation 2 consoles. If you guys follow me on Instagram, check me out at Josh Profits. You'll see uh, a picture of a huge lot of these that I just picked up from a local guy. Anyways, um, I had them listed for 50 bucks on eBay. They weren't really selling. And one of my followers posted on, uh, on my Instagram photo. I, I can't remember his name, but thank you very much if you're watching this. And he, he suggested that I sell these on Amazon. Now, I don't usually sell used electronics on Amazon um, just because I'm afraid of getting bad feedback or, you know, just dealing with all sorts of returns and whatnot. I usually sell this type of stuff on eBay. But I check out the Amazon price and it was selling for $84.99 per unit. Um, and the sales rank was crazy good on it. So... I did a test and I packaged up four of these things, sent them into Amazon. Now all four, or sorry, yeah, all four of them got into the warehouse today and all four of them sold today, um, which is crazy. Um, it just goes to show how much better Amazon can be of a platform for certain items, uh, not only for uh, sales rank wise, uh, like how fast you can move items, but how much more money you can get for items. So I was gonna I was gonna double my money before selling these on eBay at 50 bucks a pop. Now it looks like I'm gonna quadruple my money uh, by sending it into Amazon. And it's pretty much the same amount of prep work, if not less, because now I'm going to uh, prep this item up the same way I would be shipping it to eBay or my eBay. Uh, buyer instead now I'm just shipping into the Amazon warehouse I'm creating one label um, I don't have to deal with any customer service any returns Amazon's going to take care of all that for me I don't have to ship uh, 20 different consoles to 20 different people and you know those are all huge bonuses of selling on Amazon over selling on eBay uh, there really is no benefit to me selling on eBay at this point uh, when it comes to items like this. So hope you guys enjoyed that tip. Um, now it's not always going to be that that way, but it's you know the the point of the story here is to check how much it sells on Amazon and see how much it sells on eBay, and then compare the two and make a you know make a decision based off of the data that you get from that. Um, that's pretty much it guys. I'm going to show you how I package this and, uh, how I would send this to the fulfillment center right now. Uh, so you guys can get an idea on how I package electronics and, uh, you know, how I send stuff into the fulfillment center. So here we go, guys. So number one, I always start off with bubble wrap. Uh, you want to protect these electronics as good as as good as you possibly can just to avoid damage uh, and getting a bad review on your account now I get this bubble wrap from Uline and I'll show you guys what exactly uh, what I have here let me just pan this to the side on my chair this is what I get from Uline can't remember exactly how much it is but I buy like four bundles at a time I pick up a couple other reselling um, you know reselling supplies shipping supplies from them but I pick this stuff up it's awesome it lasts a long time 
Okay guys, so bubble wrap number one, you need, let me just fix this, I kicked the tripod there. You need bubble wrap when you're dealing with electronics. Um, so I wrap it around one time. This tape is kind of a pain in the ass. Now I'm, I'm going slow because I'm demonstrating to you guys what I'm doing, but I would usually be going a lot faster than this. Okay, boom. Flip it on its side here. Okay, you just want to tape that down. This tape I have in this dispenser is brutal. Um, I usually use the U-line tape, but I got a whole bunch of this tape for free. So I'm just using this tape for now because it's free, like I said, but anyways. Um, next, what I'll do is throw these cables on and the controller on top. And I'll bubble wrap protect that. Man, I really hate that tape. As happy as I am to get it for cheap, I mean get it for free. Um, Sometimes it just, it pays to, uh, to just have better quality stuff. Like this tape is crap. Okay, so I basically just tape that down guys to, you know, cover the cables and the controller at the top. Then, the hardest part is, well not the hardest part, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to do this. I get shrink wrap here. Get my phone out of the way. And I try to shrink wrap these electronics. Boom. I do it that way, and then I also shrink wrap it the other way. Now, some people might say this is a little overkill. I don't think so. You know, I want my packages to arrive alive. And uh, yeah, I'll put this in a heavy duty durable box with some, uh, you know, more package or uh, shipping uh, supplies and stuff, you know, like uh, craft paper that I have right here or more bubble wrap or whatever. Stuff the box make sure that uh, this isn't going to get damaged during transit and then once it gets to the fulfillment center everything should be good i just slap my fba label on top there and that's it guys if you guys have any comments suggestions uh you know please leave it in the comments below let me know what you guys do um and yeah thanks for watching guys please subscribe I know I ranted on here for about 10 minutes, but uh, thank you very much. Till next time, peace.